Hey everybody, I'm Chris Polk and this is the S Pen. Sure, you know what it does, but do you know how it does it? Let's find out. It seems simple enough. Take out the S Pen, write on the screen, and there you go. But it's a little more complicated than that. For example, there's a button on the S Pen that's going to need power, and where does that power come from? How does this all work together? Well, let's break it down. Okay, I have an admission to make. I can't literally break the S Pen because then I wouldn't be able to use it. What I can do is tell you and show you how it does what it does. First things first, where does the S Pen get its power from? Actually, a circuit and a few other pieces of hardware laid out in a grid sit behind the screen and generate an electromagnetic field. Just so you know, that's about as technical as we're going to get. As soon as the S Pen gets in range, it starts to pick up that electromagnetic field. This, by the way, is right around where you'll start to see the hover icon appear on the screen. Now inside the S Pen, near the front, is a tightly wrapped coil that channels the energy from the field and uses it to power its own circuit. Now here's where it gets really interesting. The screen has nothing to do with using the S Pen. That's right, nothing. It's possible that you might have noticed this before, but if you press the tip or nib of the S Pen while it's close enough to the screen, it acts exactly as if you would just tap the screen. That's because the nib is basically another button on the S Pen. This one just happens to be pressure sensitive. When you press down on the nib, you're basically telling the device that you're touching the screen, even if you aren't. You can draw like this, use it to navigate the Play Store, or anything else. This isn't really useful, of course, it's just a nice demonstration. You can see here that even though the S Pen has no contact with the screen, it still picks up what I'm drawing on the business card. This might not seem like a big deal, but it does show that you can use a heavy-duty screen protector or case with your Note 2, for example, and not have to worry about the S Pen working incorrectly. And that, my friends, is how the S Pen works. As you can see, we are clearly living in the future. Now, I didn't want to go overboard for the video, but if you want to know more, the full article can be found at AndroidAuthority.com. The link can be found in this video's description right below. Here's the thing. This is kind of the first time we've done a video like this, so we really want to know what you think. You like the video? Do you want to see more? If you do, do you have any ideas for what you'd like to see us break down? Let us know in the comments. We really do appreciate any and all feedback. We add new videos to our channel all the time, so if you want to make sure you don't miss a thing, make sure to subscribe. I'm Chris Wolk from Android Authority, and thank you for watching.